Good evening and welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part one of the lesson on recurrence relations uh, and I'm going to be taking you through an introductory example in this video. Uh, so first of all, recurrence relations, sometimes they're referred to as recursive formulae. Uh, I'll just spend a brief um, bit of time talking about what they are and how they, how they work. Um, so what we have here is we have a sequence is defined by and we have a1 equals k. Now a1, uh, the number 1, means that this is the first term of this sequence. Um, and a is just used to denote the fact that it is a term. Uh, sometimes rather than a, uh, you can use x or you can use u, uh, but it all means the same thing. So u1 would be the first term of another sequence. Uh, we then have the rule um, a n plus 1 equals 4 a n minus 3. Um, now, a n plus 1 is the next term in your sequence, and a n is the current term. Uh, so a recurrence relation is a rule for getting to the next term in a sequence from the one that you're currently on. Uh, so this one here, um, to get to the next term in the sequence, you would multiply the current term by 4 uh, and then subtract 3. Uh, and you keep doing that to get the next term in the sequence. Uh, hence recurrence, recurring, you're doing the same thing over and over. You may have come across this at GCSE uh, where it was called iteration. Um, and iteration is a um, uh, something we do in maths where we mean we're doing the same thing time and time again. Uh, so this is how this works. So um, how we would use this to write an expression for A2, um, A2, uh, which is going to be the second term, I would use this formula here and I would say, OK, a n plus 1 is going to be a 2. And to get that, I'm going to need to do four lots of a 1 uh, and then take away 3. So a 1, the first term, is my current term. The next term is the second term. And this is the rule that I'm using. But I'm given that a 1, the first term, is k. Uh, so what I do in this case is I replace that a 1 with k. And that is my expression for A2, the second term of this recursive sequence. Uh, and I'm just going to jot that up here uh, because I'm going to need that later on. Uh, so part B, show that A3 equals 16k minus 5. Well, again, uh, using the formula, A3 is going to be equal to 4 lots of A2 minus 3. So A2 is the current term, A3 is the next term and we're using the definition of the sequence we've been given. Uh, so four lots of a2, well, I know that a2 is 4k minus 3. So I'll put that in there, take away 3. Four lots of 4k minus 3, so expand out the bracket, 16k. Four times negative 3 is negative 12. Subtract the 3, and we have 16k minus 15 as required. Uh, and I'm just going to jot up there that A3 is 16k minus 15 uh, because I'm going to need that information in a minute. Right, I'm just going to clear this so I can write up part C, so just talk about talk amongst yourselves for a moment or two. So part C is given that Let's just talk about this notation a minute. This symbol here, this is the Greek letter sim, uh, sigma, and this means sum. So we're going to be adding up some sequences. R equals 1 on the bottom. That is the term that you start on. And the number at the top is the one that you end on. And AR here, that is the rule of the sequence, or that is the, the sequence that we've been given here. So A, R is our sequence. So what we're being told really here is that the sum of the first four terms of this sequence is 174. Now I know that the first term is k. I have the second term and the third term from my previous working. 
to do the sum of the first four terms, we're first of all going to need to work out the fourth term. So the fourth term, using the rule, it's going to be four lots of a3 take away 3. I know that a3 is 16k minus 15. So if I expand that out, I get 64k minus 60, subtract another 3, uh, so 64k minus 63. Now the most common people thing, thing people now do here is they sum this, this and this, and they forget about the first term k because you didn't work that out for yourself. So what I would recommend that you do is you say, right, the first term to the fourth term. So I'm summing a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 equals 174. And then write down those terms. So the first term is k. The second term we found to be 4k minus 3. The third term we were given, 16k minus 15, we showed that in part b. And we've just worked out the fourth term is 64k minus 63. And we know that the sum of those first four terms is 174. So total for k, I've got 5, 21, 85. So I've got 85k. Subtract 3, take away 15. Uh, that's negative 18, take away 63, so overall I've got take away negative 81, which equals 174. If I add that over now, I will have 85k equals 255, which means that k is 3. So the number that k represents is 3. Um, if I wanted to, um, what I could actually do now is I could write this out as a sequence of numbers. So if k is 3, the first term would be 3. 4 lots of 3 take 3, the second number would be 9. 16 lots of 3 take away 15 would be 33. 64 lots of 3 is 192. Uh, take away 63 is uh, 129. Yes, yes. And if I add up those four numbers, 12, 45, 174, job done, don't just love maths.